This video is sponsored by SCP The Tabletop RPG. SCP The Tabletop RPG is a new, innovative role-playing game that puts you right into the immersive world of the SCP Foundation. Heck, when I first saw this game, I could hardly contain my excitement. Okay, but seriously, this game just came off of a massive Kickstarter campaign where they raised over 1500% of their original goal. As a result, SCP The Tabletop RPG is filled to the brim with amazing original artwork of all your favorite SCPs. This game is seriously beautiful, and players all around the world are already enjoying endless hours of fun. Use the link below for up to 45% off your hardcover or PDF copy of SCP The Tabletop RPG. But this link is only good for the first 100 uses, so hurry up and secure your copy and <clears throat> Protect it at all costs. Okay, but really, 45% off, that's kind of insane. Thank you to SCP The Tabletop RPG for supporting the channel. From 05 10 to Personnel listserv. Figured you may be curious about the music. See attached file. 05 10. <laughs> Item number SCP 6999. Level 0 6999 classified. Object class safe. Secondary class thaumiel. Special containment procedures. Foundation personnel maintain several television broadcasting towers to transmit SCP 6999 globally. Per Project AISA protocol, only level 5 personnel may access this file. Description. SCP-6999 is a three-minute-long cognitohazardous video of the Applied Force Department Symphony performing Nearer My God to Thee. The video influences the autonomic nervous system and hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, inhibiting fight-or-flight responses to stressors and regulating cortisol production. Upon Ethics Committee approval, the O5 Council commissioned the Memetics and Infohazards Division to develop SCP-6999 for Project AISA. Exposure testing began on volunteer researchers after performance and recording. Addendum 6999.1 Testing Log Subject Dr. Chuck Ferguson Background Ferguson married his husband seven years prior to testing and had adopted an infant son three years prior. While he reports high relationship and household satisfaction, substantiated by testimony from close friends, he frequently stresses over a lack of interaction with his son, and believes his husband may hold grudges against him due to this. Results Ferguson texts his husband, asking if they can discuss the situation later that day. Ferguson reports an in-depth, reflective conversation, spanning their relationship history, familial pasts, and favorite television programs. Among this, Ferguson's husband reassures that he holds no grudges over his more dominant role in their son's upbringing, given Ferguson's government job, see Family Disclosure Protocol. However, he does suggest hiring a babysitter, which Ferguson says he'll contemplate. Subject: Agent Silvina Cortez Background Cortez emigrated from the Philippines to the United States after college, a decision heavily protested by her mother. With her enrollment in the United States military and subsequent Foundation employment, her relationship with her mother grew increasingly estranged. Cortez regrets not contacting her mother, but fears a further divide in their relationship if she does so. Results: Cortez calls her mother who expresses shock from the sudden contact. They set up a video call together for the day after testing. Cortez reports an initially stilted but progressively intimate conversation, her mother interested in American life, and Cortez in Filipino life. When addressing the initial distress over the emigration, Cortez's mother apologizes for her comments, noting how long ago she made them but admitting she feared how Cortez would adjust. Subject: Dr. Everett Mann Background Man, continuing the eccentricity of his caretaker uncle, possessed divergent ethics from societal norms. 
After Man's uncle died incarcerated, Man faced social ostracization from peers. In response, Man sought comfort in science and learning. While Man cites genius as diverting potential friends, others testify Man outright rejecting social advances in favor of scientific pursuits. Results Man steps outside the testing facility, finds the nearest cliff face, and sits at the edge, silently staring at the night sky. When asked what he thought about, Man states, We can all ascend. The next day, he sits at a crowded table in the Site-19 cafeteria, facilitating awkward but genuine conversation on rat biology. Addendum 6999.2 Project AISA Briefing Project AISA is a Foundation-planned initiative to comfort humanity in response to a predictable, singular, and widely publicized XK end-of-the-world scenario. Once such an event grows imminent, all Foundation personnel will gain access to files on Project AISA anomalies. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis the Great, Lesby Friends, and Scrubversive. And a huge extra special shout out to my level 5 patrons, Anton and Dr. Serene. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.